For this Valentine's Day makeup look, I'll first use Nivea Men Post Shave Balm as a primer for my foundation. Then I'll go in with Benefit's Professional Pore Minimizer, putting it on my T-zone. To start the eye look, I'm going to take a light brown shadow and blend it into my crease using a Morphe blending brush. Then I'll take a glittery pink shadow from the Gwen Stefani palette. I'll also blend that into my crease. To darken my crease and upper corners, I'll blend in the shade Punk. Before I apply glitter, I like to apply a base of concealer. Then I'll go in with ColourPop's Super Shock Shadow in the shade Bubbly. And I'll lay this all over my eyelid. For liner, I use Tarte's Black Clay Paint Liner. I prefer this liner because it doesn't smudge. After a coat of mascara on my top and bottom lashes, I'll then add white eyeliner to my waterline. Can't forget the falsies. For foundation, I like to use Aqua Glow and Urban Decay's Naked Skin. I'll take a damp beauty blender and blend the product all over my face. For concealer, I use the same CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous and add it to my under eyes and also the bridge of my nose, my chin, and around my jawline. After it's all blended, I take Tarte setting powder and put it on all the areas where I added concealer. For a base for my contour, I take Maybelline's Camouflage Concealer and add it around my cheekbones. I also blend it with another concealer brush. I go in with a damp beauty blender and continue blending. I also wipe away all the setting powder. To set the contour, I add the light shade of the contour powder from the Lorac Pro Contour Palette. I then take the shimmer highlight and apply it to the tip and the bridge of my nose. I also add it to the high points of my face, like the tops of my cheekbones and under my eyebrows. I 
I also added to the inner corners of my eye. For blush, I like to use NYX Baked Blush and I apply it all over my cheeks. For lips, I like to use the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip in the shade Sunday. Hope you like this video. Please subscribe.